Hello, and welcome to another Enrichment with the Gifted Guy. What we're going to be talking about today are picture books that elementary students can read. Uh, these are suggestions of uh, my favorite picture books and ones I read to my children, ones that I read as a kid. Uh, and so hopefully you'll get a couple of ideas of books that you can read um, during this time. So the first one that I want to talk about is Fish Out of Water. This is my very favorite book when I was a kid. And the basic premise is this boy gets a goldfish and he's told not to feed it too much. Um, and of course, as a young boy, he, he feeds it too much and it starts to grow and starts to grow and starts to grow and it grows out of its aquarium, it grows out of its bathtub, it grows out of a swimming pool and so it just becomes so large and he has to figure out what to do about this goldfish. Um, and so, just really love this book um, and, uh, and P.D. Eastman in general is one of my favorite. You'll see another one of his as well. Um, but this is a really, a really good book. Um, I, I like to do a little exercise with some of my students where um, there's one point in the book where this guy uh, dives in the water and comes back up and the fish is small. And the question is, what did he do? You know, because you don't know what he was doing underneath the water. And I kind of like that, that exercise. The second one I want to talk about is Sam and the Firefly. Uh, Sam and the Firefly is about a owl and a, and a firefly that have a, a friendship. And the firefly can write all sorts of things with his, uh, his ability. So he, and he causes havoc. So he go fast, go slow, go right, go left, and he causes a traffic jam. Um, and so he, he learns how to write using his, his firelight. And the owl tries to teach him how to like it. And here's another one he does, come in free show and, and people go into the movie because they think it's free. Uh, and so he has to teach his friend that he should not um, be using it for the purposes of, of bad. And so in this case he writes stop, stop, stop and he gets a train to stop from hitting something. So he learns to use uh, his ability to write in the sky for the purposes of good. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about um, is also a P.D. Eastman illustrated one, is Robert the Rose Horse. And this is about a horse that is allergic to roses, and every time it, uh, it, it, it breathes in a rose, it sneezes really large, um, to the point where it knocks things down. Uh, so like here's him sneezing at a birthday party, knocking all of his friends down. So his sneezes are mighty. Um, and so he goes to the city, he becomes a police horse, um, he does various things, um, and uh, I like this book because I lo love to read this book out loud uh, because it's got a lot of uh, sound effects that you can you, that you can read with it. Uh, so I really enjoy reading uh, Robert the Rose Horse. The next one is Gloria Buckle, or Officer Buckle and Gloria. Uh, it's the story of a friendship. I, I used to see a lot of these are about friendship, which is one of the topics that I really like. Um, and Officer Buckle is this guy who goes around giving giving these safety speeches at schools, and they're quite boring. Um, and he gets assigned, and kids fall asleep and don't pay attention, and he gets assigned Gloria, who's this police dog, to go and, and be with him. And so he goes and starts doing these, um, these lectures on safety, and the kids are all getting excited because behind him, Gloria is acting out all of the things he says. So if he says, you should never go to, you should never, you know, go uh, be electrocuted, uh, and... Gloria with them will be in the background and she'll be acting like she was was electrocuted or fell on her head or whatever. So um, and he looks back and she's always seems normal and so he thinks that all of a sudden that kids are really liking his his, um, his safety speeches when in actuality they really love Gloria um, and it's about their friendship and and how they both help one another. Um, this is a book I think has an excellent message, which is what if the zebras lost their stripes? Um, and the premise of this book is um, what if, if uh, zebras became black or just black or just white? How would that change? Would they treat each other differently? Uh, and this is a, you know, a bigger, uh, bigger idea here, which is how do we treat each other, uh, people that look different? Um, you know, how do we, we, you know, do we tolerate others who look different than us? Um, and that's kind of what the, the, the message is on this one. So uh, I really like this one. It's not a real long book, but it's, it's got a beautiful message. Um, and uh, you can see like that it's not, there's not too much uh, in, the, in the way of wording, uh, but it's just a really nice message. So I really like that book. 
Too Loud Lily is one that I like to read with my, my kids as well. Um, too Loud Lily is about Lily who is always too loud and her family is always telling her don't be so loud. Her friends are always telling her don't be too loud. So then she runs across this teacher who is a drama teacher is teaching kids to act in plays and she's telling Lily she's not loud enough. And all of a sudden Lily has found her place. She's found um, what, she, what she can do with her ability to be so loud. Um, and so it, it's a nice story because uh, it's about finding your voice as a person and uh, it's got good, you know, good illustrations and um, I'm, I'm not real big. I, I like my uh, picture books to have really good stories. Uh, some people prefer really good pictures. Uh, this kind of has both. So. Um, a couple of subject related books. So this is uh, one that I, I use in my history class all the time. So you want to be president. And the idea here is that um, he talks about the things that, that make com that, that presidents have in common. So for instance, these are all the log cabin presidents. Um, and there are other things in here. Like he, he talks about famous anecdotes, um, such as the fact that uh, James Harris or William Harrison was so thrifty he'd walk to market every day and there's him walking to the market. Uh, so you just learn a lot about the presidents, um, which is why I enjoy it. There are a lot of fun anecdotes in here, like uh, um, the fact that Woodrow Wilson was so fat that he had to be, he got stuck in a bathtub. That's kind of a famous myth and so, uh, or a famous story. And so, uh, he has things like that as well, but I really like it because you can learn about the presidents in a fun in a fun way. Another one is Math Curse, uh, and these two guys um, I think are really any of their books are really really good. Uh, they do a bunch of books, um, but Math Curse is um, the story about a kid who uh, his teacher's teaching him in class, and then when he wakes up the next morning, everything is a math problem. So when he takes his milk out for cereal, he wonders how many quarts in a gallon, how many pints in a quart, how many inches in a foot, so on and so forth. And the whole book then just becomes math problems that you see in everyday life um, and, and you know that you would encounter. Uh, and so the, uh, I'm not a real big math fan, but I'll say I really like this book because it, it made you see that math does exist in the real world and, there, and it's really important to know. Um, and so it goes through the whole thing. And the nice thing is at the very end, on the very back, are all the answers to all of these math problems. So you can, you can actually be doing math um, while you're reading this book and then checking your answers on the back. So I really like that one. Now I'm going to talk about a couple of series of books. Um, this Diary of a Worm is one that my kids like, and it's a, it's a, it's, you know, it's a, it's a day in the life of a worm, which is kind of interesting. You know, you get the perspective of a worm. So, you know, he'll have a date and he'll say something that he did. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's really fun. And it, the series, eventually, like, it will have Diary of a Spider, and, uh, and some of his fr other friends get books as well. So the series continues on, and it gives the perspective of something maybe you didn't think about before, uh, or their point of view, which is kind of nice. Another one that we're, I really enjoy is Click Clack uh, Moo Cows the Type. And the basic idea behind this is these cows in the barn find this old typewriter. And they start writing demands uh, up from their farmer. Like, dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too, they like blankets. And so they keep doing all these demands. And uh, the, the, the farmer's getting fed up because he's like, they're cows, they shouldn't be doing those things. And so um, it's kind of a funny story about how these cows are getting together and, and you can see them typing here uh, and figuring out ways to make themselves, uh, get things for themselves from this farmer. And there are other ones too. Um, it goes for, uh, there's, I think there's five or six books in the series about the cows and their adventures and uh, they're quite funny. Um, the last one. The last series I'm going to share with you is How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight? Um, I really like this book. The illustrations are really cool, and you also learn about the dinosaurs themselves. So when you go to a, a page and you read, does a dinosaur slam his tail and pout? It will tell you what the name of the dinosaur is, that this is a stegosaurus that they drew. And so they, they're all different dinosaurs. Uh, does a dinosaur stomp his feet on the floor and shout, I want, to, I want to hear one book more? And then if you look, this is a, a trachodon. Uh, so you get to learn about dinosaurs, but you also get, um, a, the, the idea here is that dinosaurs don't act a certain way, and we shouldn't either. Um, and so it has a nice message, but you also learn about dinosaurs in the process. Um, so those are some picture books that you might want to consider reading. 
Um, I, I've always really enjoyed those. They're fun to read to your parents. Uh, they're fun to read to younger brothers and sisters. So, um, you know, enjoy the books.